Now if we turn to service company, you can expect that it will be a lot less complicated, right? Because we don't produce our own product, we don't manufacture it, we don't purchase merchandise, so we simply provide time, skills, knowledge. Okay, this is the feature of service type of company. So a lot less complicated, we just have two slides on this. Okay, there's no inventory, so we don't need to take care of work in process, manufacturing overhead, there's nothing related to that. The most important cost for service company would be labor cost. So it would be the people you hire, that's the most important um, way to generate profit. These people deal with the clients, the customers that comes to you, your company. So again, it could be auditing firms, financial consulting services, insurance companies. I'm sorry? Hospitals. Hospitals also, yes, service type of business. Okay, so here's just an example that the reason why we also need to cover service company because we still need to charge these clients, these customers. And different clients has a different background, has a different need, so we cost them differently. Audit firms, again, if we have audit team, we may have a different number of audit teams, members, depends on different public traded companies. Larger companies, you may need a larger size of audit teams to take care of sampling and going over their inventory, making sure what's it, uh, listed on financial statement is appropriate. Okay, so here's just an example. A client, let's say job number 19, cost is $6,000. We need to determine a market price and charge customer in order to generate profit let's say $9,000. Okay, so what we're trying to understand is how do we determine the cost, the $6,000 part of this example. So the main questions would be what is the direct labor cost incurred? How many people you hire? What are their salary? What's an hourly rate of payable? How do we determine the employee's cost? That's the most important question. The second question would be all the remaining indirect cost. Okay, so this is very similar to all the operating expenses we talked about. All the administrative office expenses, supplies, utility, rental. So we just have two main categories for service company. Direct labor and all the remaining indirect cost. Okay, so again, this is the main part where our revenue comes from. Because we need people to help us deal with clients' issues. All the other costs, indirect costs. Okay, so how do we determine direct labor cost for each and every service agreement with different clients? It depends on how many people is working in this team, depends on how many hours